Hello and uh, welcome to the channel again. We're out and about, saying we, me and Mrs C. Thou Mrs C is blessing us again. She's come out for a play. Now it's afternoon, we are on holidays. We're up on the east, uh, northeast coast of England, up just past Sunderland at the moment, uh, somewhere in the place called Salter. We've come up here because we wanted to have a bit of a look, or I wanted to have a look at the uh, Salter Hole, uh, which is where I'm going to take you. But we've come out onto the cliffs and over my shoulder there, um, there's a really big sea arch but it just so happens that right down in front of me while we're walking along the path there's another sea arch so we decided that we're going to get the cameras out straight away and take a nice long exposure to the sea arch so we blended out the water smoothed all the water and got these little white rapids that are giving a bit of texture to the water so uh, yeah first one in the bag and uh, we've only literally just got out of the car and started walking this looks like it's going to be a great little evening or afternoon's walk there wasn't going to be any plan on photography for this. We were just going to go for a bit of a walk, just bringing my camera along just in case, and I'm pretty glad I did. So, first one's done. I'll put that up on the screen for you. And uh, yeah, hello. Join us on this little afternoon's walk. One of the reasons we wanted to walk down here first before going the other direction so we came out of the car park and turned right instead of left was to have a look at Finn's Labyrinth now I've got no idea what Finn's Labyrinth is about but we're on top of it and it's not quite what I expected it to be it is definitely not an epic wow look at that it's more like who the bloody hell's put all them stones on the beach I'm going to show you what it is and uh, I'm going to take a picture just for prosperity but it's not going to probably be a phone picture it'll probably be a, uh, not a big picture it's going to be a phone picture probably but this is Finn's Labyrinth what's it all about if you know tell me in the comments there it is and that is Finn's apparently Yo, 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 Mrs. C, what's happening? I, just, I don't think I'm going to get high enough to get. I'll have to lend you my tripod. You've got another extension to go up if you wanted to. Yeah, I know, but... It's quite a... It's quite a construction. It's definitely been here a long time. And it is a labyrinth as well. It's not just a stone circle. So we might have to take a walk up it and see how far we get. So there is only one way to get a really good shot of this or a half decent shot of this with that bright blue sky and these really bright rocks. It looks very Mediterranean and this is how I managed to do it. Focus, 10 second timer, face my lens downwards. Tripod extended full length. Lift the camera up as high as you can. Tilt it against your armpits. Wait, hold your breath. And there you go. Make sure my shutter speed is high enough to compensate. And just check and make sure it's sharp. And I'm pretty sure that is the only way you're going to get a really good shot of this labyrinth. And I'm going to do one more. And this time I'm going to turn my image stabilizer back on because I didn't have it on. So again, I'm going to focus on the rocks. 10 second timer, straight up in the air with it as high as it'll go look at the image hold it as steady as you can and there we go enjoy this shot <laughs> So that's the labyrinth done. We're now gonna head back along the coast the other way. Uh, good old Mrs. C, she's done the run round on the inside and she's now done the complete labyrinth. 
quite a few steps that was as well so we'll see you somewhere up on the cliffs looking at some sea stacks probably somewhere somewhere in the forward going up that way all right okay we're going up now back up on the top Okay, so I've just had the long lens on those uh, sea stacks that we were talking about earlier on. And it looks very uh, Clash of the titans I think Denise said. It looks like, you know, something where the Clackens or the Kraken's going to come out of the water. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of uh, the sort of image I could see in my head. Oh, and I've just come up to Salter's Hole as well. And I'm on top of Salter's Hole, and this is it. And I will pop over and have a quick look. But this is Salter's Hole. Or I might see if the drone's flyable and get a bit of drone footage, but I don't think I've got any batteries on it. Um, and there's a lot of birds around and the Coast Guard's not far away as well. He keeps popping down. I just jumped over the fence just now and Denise shouted at me. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get another shot from here as well because it's got a slightly different look to it with the cliffs in the front of it. But it's not the ideal conditions, not, not by a long shot. If you've got a morning, I reckon if you've got a morning, the sunrise coming up over that way, lighting that, it looks spectacular. But in these conditions, they're just photographs really nothing much more than that but i'll take a couple more pop them up on the screen and uh, at least you know where the location is so this as you can see is salter's hole this is obviously a large sinkhole that suddenly appeared sucked down into the ground the seas come underneath it the seas obviously been washing it away and then just suddenly wallop straight down in the ground <laughs> there's nothing left anymore whatsoever just imagine walking along the, the seaside you know walking along the cliffs and suddenly bush nothing there and uh, this fence has obviously been put around since because the fence line used to run straight past this. You can see the fence coming to the end here and it carries on down that side. So this used to be part of the footway. Spooky. I'm now up on the cliff top and I'm trying to get a few pictures of the waves smashing and crashing around these rocks and stuff. Um, it's a lovely rock formation, you know, it's really, really cool, but trying to make this into a photograph and getting the movement and stuff I just don't seem to be getting anywhere really it's quite a, a difficult sort of task really I'm just getting down and just shooting the best I can and uh, using the rocks and things and I don't know I'm just I suppose the Sun and the weather is really not that great but I'm sure it'll make a nice um, sort of keepsake shot so I'm just got the six stop on I think just smoothing the water a little bit <coughs> where the water's crashing you're getting this bit of a texture but I don't know it's just not not great at all um, I think over where Denise is down on the shoreline I think the waves are smashing up in front so I might have to go down there and have a look but I'll just have a nose here see if I can get something better first before I uh, before I quit
again, we're down on the shoreline and uh, we've come down to the level. Mrs. C's here, she's been playing with the waves. And we're just looking at this in front of us and we don't know whether this would actually work as a shot, whether we can get an image out of it. But look at the waves at the back, they're crashing down and all of a sudden every so often they smash over this rock and you get the little waterfall. So I might, I might get the camera down low and try and get under that waterfall and uh, see, if, see if I can get a shot leading into that, that roll, that, that, that turbulence. That looks amazing, it really does. Wow. Well, we've come to the end of this one. Um, I'm not so sure whether it's been very good or not. Uh, Denise, Denise keeps telling me off for like putting myself down, but I don't think this video is much of a cop. It's been a bit of a mix mash in it from all sorts, but basically it's me and the wife. You get what you get. You get what out. you get, yeah. We've been out for a walk and basically we knew this was a walk. The sun's out, it's a blue sky. There's nothing to see other than what we've got underneath our feet. Um, I've had a look at the cliffs. It looks pretty cool. Maybe these, this arch um, that we've walked right up to, you know, maybe on a sunrise uh, from this distance, it looks pants, doesn't it? Uh, it looks better from a you know, long way off and I showed you the image before, but yeah, different conditions, maybe stormy weather or I don't know, mist and fog, maybe a sunrise, sunset with colors and clouds. Yeah, brilliant. But in these conditions, not great to be honest. But anyway, I hope you stuck to it. I hope you stuck with us. And if you have, give us that thumbs up as usual. Oh, it really means a lot. Big fairy. Oh, big fairy, yeah. It'd be fairy. coming from Dover, wouldn't it? No, um, not where we are. What did I say that for? I don't even know where I thought I was. I don't know why I said that. It's nowhere yeah. near Dover. <laughs> it's a long way. <laughs> I don't even know where I thought I was then, stupid boy. Um, yeah, anyway, we're off. We're going to go back to the van. You thought fairies. You thought Isle of Wight. No, I was thinking along the south coast I'm where we were before. Look. It's because if that says P&O, that's, a, that's look, a bloody miracle. It does look like a P&O, doesn't it? Oh, well. Right, we're going back to the van. We're going to go and get some tea. And um, we're probably going to drive somewhere tonight to find a location for tomorrow morning. Yeah, well, I ain't so, walking. Um, yeah, we're not walking. So, yeah, till then. Ciao for now. See you soon. And uh, leave us a like and a comment, maybe. Um, tell us what you thought of this video. Was it, a, was it worth putting out or was it a waste of time? <laughs> was it a waste of time? See you soon, guys. Bye-bye. I'm just curious now because it's coming into view. I just want to see what's on the side of that ferry. We're going to be sitting here for another 10 or 15 minutes. It's not P&O. It's not P&O. No, it's not. It's too many. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>